Cause she's so high, high, high above me. It's so lovely. Cause she's so high, high, like Cleopatra, John of Arc, or Aphrodite. Is she so high above you? Let's read these cards. Ooh. The Queen of Quills. Okay. Uh, words have no power to impress the mind without the exquisite horror of their reality. And she actually looks pretty like... I wouldn't say Cleopatra or Joan of Arc, but I would say... Marie Antoinette she's giving me a little bit of Marie Antoinette she's like let them eat cake honey um this queen of quills oh and look this is is this the same girl they both have that same kind of hairdo this is reverse behind it the two of the two of quills behind this queen of quills so I'm getting that um, there's an earth, uh, an air sign feminine. So Leo, uh, excuse me, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. This two of quills here gives me like a sense of being blinded in the upright, like ignoring something, not seeing something. Um, and in the reverse, it is something that's being seen um so you know this could be you know this person that if you feel like this is somebody who is so high above you and sh they don't you know it's like alicia key said you don't know my name you don't know my name baby 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 it, it's almost like um perhaps this is someone who was blinded about something about you or maybe you know, this was some woman who was feeling very high and mighty and is now beginning to take note of something about you perhaps like you know um y'all were in each other's presence before and you felt like oh you were never like good enough for this person and they're seeing some qualities now about you that perhaps is catching their eye right um this queen of quills can be a little bit of like a mean girl like um like i said maria antoinette um someone who you know i like with a sharp tongue or um just maybe like a little bit bitchy i'm getting that kind of energy um with this two of quills in reverse, believe nothing you hear and only have of what you see. So I feel like someone is like seeing is believing, right? Like, uh, cause it's in reverse. It's like, don't believe it. But then they're like, uh, yeah, you know what? Believe it. It's like, uh, someone didn't believe something until they actually began to see you in action, right? Um, and it may have something to do with something that you have said. It's like, perhaps you said something that like, maybe someone kind of comes at, which comes at you with something. Um, I'm getting like, I'm actually, I'm getting like a coworker. So th this may be for some, some people, like perhaps you're working with this coworker and they come at you with like something very uh snappy or accusatory and your response shuts it down in a way that it had to catch their attention <clears throat> um i got the three of quills at the bottom of the deck and it's in the reverse um uh, but the void within my heart refused even this dust to be filled. I long for the love which had before filled it to overflowing. Three of Quills is like a heartbreak. Someone is not heartbroken. So this is, you know, this is like 
I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm getting this energy of like, because it's a lot of quills. There's three quills to come up, which are swords, right? So very um, like cerebral energy. Um, I'm getting like, this is all about words and thoughts. So someone is in their head, like, I, and perhaps like a lot hasn't been said, but like things are being said now. It's kind of like someone's very reserved with their words, but like once you begin to start talking, then like these things begin to, it begins to shift something. Um, and I'm getting something with, it. so with this woman, something about the hair, they maybe recently did something different with their hair, like before. Um, cause the hair here is, is really interesting. It's like, you see how the hair is in an updo right here, but right here, the hair is down and actually is in the reverse. So like the hair down is then up. Um, so someone maybe did something different with their hair recently. You'll know if it resonates with your particular situation or not. She's just so high. I think she thinks she's high above you. It's like, it may be that I'm getting something like, oh, they have a, a, a degree or something like that. All right. I saw the death, but then it flipped over again with the ace a pause and then two a pause. So the death, something coming to an end. Um, Scorpio energy, this major arcana. Um, s s perhaps something's coming into it again. Like I was getting like a shift in that situation, something coming to an end. And we're seeing like, kind of like a wedding scene here. But it, to me, this gets like a split. So this may be like, even if you were working with someone, this may be that y'all are no longer going to be working together or, uh, whatever the dynamic of the past relationship was it is coming to an end right um we got the ace of paws it's definitely giving me some work stuff um here because we got the ace of paws and the two of paws with this death that came up at the bottom is the wheel so with the wheel you know you find yourself at the top or the bottom and actually you know with this wheel, I just see, I see two women here. Um, the third is almost like this tree thing that's going on there. So it's almost like three women, three presents, like a spirit presence. It's kind of giving me like a coven. Um, you may work at, in an environment that's like female dominated. The Ace of Pauls is some kind of financial reward. For some kind of incoming material gain with the death that almost feels like an inheritance the two of pause or or like i don't know this it's like i don't want to say that like you start a new job and then like something ends there it could be that like you know you start in one role and like end up moving to another role um, or like with the two of paws, the two of pentacles is like juggling two things. So you may be juggling like two jobs. So it may be, um, like the end of juggling two situations, uh, trying to balance work with, um, some kind of situation that needs to be coming to an end. And, you know, it's, it could be that like, you know you needed to bring things into balance and you know the universe just kind of comes in and and ushers that change in for you you if you didn't make the change like the change just kind of is going to happen anyway because the wheel turns and then those things have to happen okay we got a jumper the seven of whales something is and i'm seeing like there's a car peeking out here so we'll take that Seven of Wales. Um, a 
again, like a lot, I get a lot of headiness with this card, like a lot of confusion, a lot of balancing, a lot of different things, like a lot of different things to talk about, uh, a lot of different things that you have to be aware. So it could be that in this new environment, in this new situation that you have like a lot of a lot of like confusion this could be like you know you have to learn a lot uh, and think about a lot of different things a lot of different like moving pieces to whatever this um this job is and with the queen of paws this is like a woman with some money i would say um And this is a different woman than the one we saw earlier. Um, she seems to be a bit more down to earth. So it's almost like in your, so you may have like some bitches at work, like the mean girls, but you also have like a warm kind of confidant. This is an earth sign person, a Taurus, a um, a Capricorn or a Virgo. She looks like a Virgo. Um, but she could be any of those signs, any of those signs, right? Uh, that helps you with this kind of feeling of confusion, this cloudy energy kind of being in your head, right? <clears throat> At the bottom is the hermit. So yeah, that's a Virgo, uh, Virgo energy. And so this may be someone that, you know, you're able to kind of speak with in private someone that helps you with uh coming out of your shell and feeling more uh included so there'll be like a a resource for you i see another queen trying to peek out the queen of Wales. And with this queen, we got the Knight of Quills there. So this is two people. The Queen of Wales. She's emotional. Again, like I, <clears throat> I was getting this energy of a lot of women kind of in the workplace. Um, a lot of different kind of personalities to adjust to. And this may be someone who is incoming with this Knight of Quills. Um and again, this one, this woman is more water sign. She's a Pisces, uh, a Scorpio or a Cancer. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling like, because I also said about this coven. So these are all these different women are kind of like bringing their own like kind of unique thing. And I feel like it's a, it's a thing of like, you know, accepting people for kind of how they are, even though it causes, because you have this. Uh, acute awareness maybe it's like an adjustment to each of these different types of personalities right um with the nine of quills it's like you know hold your truth let your truth be your defense like if if they if they come at you because it started out with this this queen of quills the queen of swords so like it feels like someone who wants to attack uh, who feels like they're kind of better than you. But I think like with this Knight of Quills, it's like you're ready for battle. And um, and I feel like you got, you know, when, when put in that type of situation, you know what to say. You know, you know how to speak the truth that shuts down whatever type of cackling is going on in the situation. Any advice, advice in this particular situation? Mm. Page of quills in the reverse. Okay, the page of quills. Lots of quills in this. So again, like this is all about that. I feel like for you, what I'm getting is that like you may be a bit in your head. That may be your intrinsic nature just to be like having all these things up here in your hair like this that you're thinking about and um 
the page of quills here is like, you know, it says it will be found in fact that the ingenious are always fanciful and the truly imaginative never otherwise than analytic. This to me is the Sherlock Holmes card. Um, like a lot of investigating and in the reverse, I'm getting like, I'm getting like, be nonchalant. Like, you know, people can do things to try to pull you in and make you want to, um, and make you want to like find out what's going on. Right. What are they saying about me? What, what is the, you know, what's the problem? Why are they behaving this way? Um, this feels like the best policy is to ignore the haters kind of um like you could be doing the research but i feel like it's it's like almost like not being too analytical just rolling with it and being like like i said very nonchalant like you know you really don't care and just going with your intuition it's like maybe there's a lot to learn but or people feel like they're trying to teach you something and your intuition is actually what is the um the best thing okay i'm getting some names i'm getting like sophie sophia uh sophisticated um something like that whoever this woman is with like the warm energy um i'm getting caroline um cleo there's a lot of women here um yeah so i'm picking up on those names let's see what else Sylvia, Lily, Jackie, Six of Candles. It's like self-care. Right, yeah, so again, like, um, I'm getting, like, the advice is, you know, nonchalant, focus on you, uh, focus on your own self-care, what makes you relax, because I, I think, like, that's what's going to help you in, like, whatever this kind of thing going on in your energy it's like you know hop into your bath and this doesn't have to be like a, a male watcher dealing with women this could be a woman dealing with because i do get a lot of women so this could be like a, a woman who's like the black sheep in a group um and one of the things like i've noticed and because i've worked in a, a few different situ situations with that are like female dominated women and women are very different from men so it's always uh unique for me to kind of come into these situations because you know i kind of get to see how women you know treat me versus how they treat other women at times and not to say that they always treat me any better uh, but i do feel like women tend to bump heads a lot in the workplace because there's a lot of feelings and emotions involved um and you know, women's moods tend to be more dynamic, um, especially like with the moon cycle, for example. They have like, you know, very much physical things that happen with the moon cycle and it's tied to emotional things that are going on as well. So for a man, that could be very difficult to um, kind of understand, um, you know, and, and have like a clear awareness of what's going on. Uh, I think women are a bit more aware of that, but then women also like, you know, kind of bump heads with each other in the workplace. I, as, as far as what I've seen, I'm not saying that all women are like that, but I do think that um, very female dominated places can be very chatty. Like a lot of things will be said kind of behind the scenes, a lot of like moving parts. And, you know, and thing it's like that game of telephone, like, you know, stuff always gets misconstrued. So there's a there's a lot of misinformation. I'm getting like misinformation making its way back to you. So people come to you and like say, so and so told me this, you did X, Y, and Z. Um and you're like, Nope. 
don't know nothing about that. I don't know why they would have told you that, but it feels like that's like, you know, misinformation kind of just being uh, spread. And I'm not going to say just intentionally. I just think it's like um, a function of the dynamic, right? Um, yeah. So that's what I'm getting. I'm, uh, we're in Capricorn season now. Um, we've crossed the winter solstice. So the days are getting longer. So I feel like with that, like the natural inclination is that you're kind of at the lowest point and things just begin to get better with time. And so you should, you know, again, not worry and just use, cause I feel like the worry is probably like a function of the past something that you kind of just come with and there's no need to worry it's kind of like you know lean on your intuition lean on your like natural ability you know and whatever this um this situation is it feels like a work situation but it's not necessarily about the money it's about the communication in the work situation the how different people are thinking different philosophies i'm getting a lot of different philosophies some people have very emotional philosophies some people have very analytical practical philosophies some people have very material philosophies right in this situation and so you know you're having to um accept that every person's uniqueness um every person is different right and not necessarily bet for the better or worse is it just is and i'm getting something my dad would always say to me is like a fool can tell you the bridge is out right so it's not this thing of like one person regardless of their position or title is necessarily better at something or the best at something or can tell you the most about something because a fool can tell you the bridge is out right i want to tell a story but i'm thinking about if um if i should or not I, I, i'll tell it because i don't think this person will be watching but um i i was riding with someone kind of in a in a work situation they were like riding in a in a company vehicle and I was in the passenger seat and this was kind of like when I first met this person and there was a change in the traffic pattern. You know, if they're doing work on the roads, they kind of change the road up and repaint the lines. So with that, there's some confusion to like where you should go. But this person was driving to the left of the double yellow lines and I'm just thinking like does she realize that she's driving on the wrong side of the road and I'm like (laughs) and I'm kind of like uh you know you're not supposed to cross the yellow the double yellow lines we're we're in the you know the wrong side of the traffic luckily no one was coming and she got over and she told me oh I I never knew that you know, and that was just very interesting to me because it's not necessarily that I'm like, you know, um, an expert on, you know, traffic and, you know, anything like that or driving. I don't have no CDLs or anything like that, but I kind of know you want to be on the right side of the highway. And this person's very smart so you would think that that would be something that they were aware of and they felt very comfortable driving i'm in the passenger seat and this woman is driving not to say anything about women drivers but um yeah like anybody can tell you some valuable information you don't need a college degree to know some important information that's like i said a fool can tell you the bridge is out you can you can be driving down the 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 highway and see somebody waving and they may have on uh a t-shirt that says repent and you may be like oh that's a crazy person out talking about jesus in the street well they maybe were waving trying to get your attention to say that the bridge is out of the road so you probably shouldn't go that way right so a fool or in this case just in a someone that you may look at and say oh that's a crazy person they may have some very important information for you to listen to 
All right.